Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mabel and on my channel here, I film about family, relationships, beauty and lifestyle. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me video. Yes. And I was just going to get ready and just go out because I'm going somewhere. But then I stumbled on something on Instagram. Yes, on Instagram. And I just said, you know what? I will do my makeup and chat. I have a little time. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup and chat with you guys. Okay. I'm going to do my makeup and chat with you guys as we go. Okay. Yes. So I saw, I saw two things actually. Like I, I was on Instagram earlier today and I saw two things that really caught my attention. Okay. And I'm going to be reading this. I'm probably, I'm also going to probably put it on the screen. I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and read it. And then I'm going to talk about what I think. Okay. Yes, I will. So the first thing I saw, right, let me read it. Okay. It says a relative married into a family that the husband mother did not like her the hatred was so much that when she gave birth the woman came to greet them and did not carry the baby not quite long husband lost his job the woman said nah the wife cost the woman said nah the wife caused him okay that's in pigeon he says that means the mother-in-law the boy the guy's mom blamed his wife for the job he lost okay ladies don't try it so that was somebody's post and then somebody else responded and said, even men, don't try it. If your in-laws don't like you, no do them. Guys, don't do it. Um, I know love is important and all, but you can't marry someone that their family doesn't like you, especially if the family is very important to them. This life is too short to deliberately be surrounded by hatred till you die. Okay, 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 okay. So the point, the point in all this is just to tell you not to get married into a family that do not like you, okay? And yes, I absolutely agree, okay? So first off, I already did my eyebrows, okay? And I wasn't planning to film this video, but when I saw that thing online, I told myself I was going to do this, okay? And let me use this brush. I haven't used this brush before, so why not? Let me use it. I have a couple of makeup products I bought for myself. Over the Christmas holiday, and I'll just go ahead and try it. I don't know if this brush is there. So, like I said, I absolutely agree with whatever the poster said or the person who commented on the video saying that you should not marry get married into a family that they do not like you. Okay, and I absolutely agree. I do agree. Okay, um. Some people think that love is enough. Love is important. Okay, I already said this in my channel a couple of times. Love is important. Of course, you should not marry someone who doesn't love you or someone who you do not love. But you guys, let me tell you, okay, love is not all that you need to, you know, have a successful marriage. Okay, yes. That being said, I also beg to disagree with whoever says love is all you need. You know, in this case, you know, I think it's such a smart thing to know. It's just important to know that just personally, I can't even stay around, you know, an environment where I kind of feel like I'm not welcome, you know, or so. But, you know, marriage is not a thing that people have said. Marriage is not a thing that anyone should, you know, just think, you know, you just want to run into it, just get married because you want to get married. I don't really like this. I'm not enjoying that brush. Let me try this one. This one is big and this is um, it's a very old brush, but let me just use that instead. I think it's, yeah, it's bigger, so it works better. So... Like I said, um, it doesn't matter how much the guy loves you or how much the lady loves you. And this now, it's for both people, both guys and ladies, okay? It doesn't matter how the person says they love you or how much you love them. I'll still say that if you're in the family and they do not accept you and love you, please do not get married into that family, you know? Marriage is a thing, you know, no man is an island, first off. And marriage is not only for the guy and the ladies okay marriage goes beyond just me and you you know marriage is like the entire family marriage is a is a family thing okay so just i just feel like that is so stressful how would anyone want to marry into a family that they don't love or accept them i for one i don't care how much you know the person says they love me or they don't love me if the family does, doesn't accept me i will just you know go my way i will find somebody else you know and all that so 
why do you want to just get into this thing you know this question let me tell you guys even when i first met chris okay when i first met his family members okay of course we, i met them way before we even thought of getting married well way before i thought of getting married to him okay so i met his family way be, be, before that time and i met his older brother first a couple of times because he always traveled to malaysia and then I met his sister as well. I met his other siblings. And they didn't seem to have any problem with me. But like I said, we were just dating. And then when we decided to get married, when I met his mom, I had traveled to Chris's place to meet his family or to know where he's from. Chris is my husband, by the way. And then um, when I met his mom and some of his family members, then it was like a marriage team. I remember driving back that day and I asked him, what does your mom really think? Like, does she really like me? You know, especially because I was from a different tribe. Okay, this one, let's just say it, let's say it as it is. Okay, I was very concerned. I wanted to really know what his mom thought. Because yes, I really cared about what his entire family thought. But I was very concerned what his mom thought about me. Does she like me? Does she want to marry somebody from out another tribe? Does she want to get married to me and all that? You guys, hold on. Let me quickly do my... Um... shadow okay like i said i also asked chris before we got married you know what his family thought about me what he you know what his mom thought especially if you're dealing with someone who is very family oriented like i am very family oriented and i hate situations like i hate really awkward situations okay so it mattered to me i think it's an important topic or it's an important point you know no one should ever get married thinking that Oh, it's about me. I'll be fine without the extended family members. You know, it's just me and my husband or it's just my wife and I and all that stuff. You guys, I do not agree at all. I don't. So when you're getting married, make sure, you know, make sure that you guys. Okay. When you're getting married, you need to make sure that that the families, both the guys' families and the ladies' families, um, approves of the marriage you know accepts the marriage it doesn't mean that you know i'm not saying that they are the ones that have to make a decision for you guys but i'm just saying that you know so i to a great extent you know just don't get married into a family where the family don't want you don't approve your marriage or don't approve you to marry their daughter or approve you to marry their son you know i just think that that is disaster waiting to happen okay yeah you guys that's how I feel and that's just the truth and I'm sure if you ask anyone else especially I know it's my opinion okay but I'm sure if you ask anybody else especially those who are married you know what I mean they will tell you the same thing marriage is not just you and the guy alone no marriage is not just you and the lady alone no marriage is way 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 beyond that marriage is everybody okay okay just want to put some more um, especially under my eyes Thank you. 
so like i said please 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 and please young ladies young guys do not get married into a family that do not accept you okay marriage is for everybody you're getting married. It's the family that is marrying you i know some people will say wow you sound like this you've lived it doesn't change anything okay for me it doesn't change anything it doesn't matter where i live or what i know you know yes it's between you and the guy but at the same time you guys are not the only ones in the family okay and if you go ahead and get married to someone who the family don't approve and all that and you guys eventually start doing things by yourself it also affects your children you know what i mean them not having any relationship with the extended family members and all that so i just thought you know i said yes let me come here and say this if you're going to get married into a family please please and please get married to a family that accepts you that wants you that okay is the relationship yes you're not going to live with them the whole time yes you're not marrying them it's the guy or the lady you're getting married to but at the same time hmm, marriage is the entire family doing it together okay so that's my opinion and that was the first um thing i read that caught my attention on instagram i saw it on instagram anyway i caught my attention today i said you know what i'll just go ahead and talk about it okay so and then there was another one that caught my attention to you guys you guys this is my second guarantee making up and talking is a is a lot of work it is a lot of work because on a good day i'll be done my makeup i think right now yeah so and i'm just this is a new shade of foundation so i went to the store the other day if you're looking i'm looking at my mirror on this side so i went to the store the other day and i got foundation i was in i was in a hurry that i didn't really look at what i got but apparently i think this one still suits my skin color yes it does so yeah 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 so the second email or the second thing i saw on instagram i'll read it as well it's long this one is lengthy it says in my years of courtship when i met any lady within the first month of our relationship you will meet my mom i must meet your mom okay that's fine it is funny how people ignore the motherly feelings and instructions before falling in love hmm. so they have to meet your mom before you fall in love with them hmm. okay i used to ask my mom the kind of woman she wants I used to ask my mom the kind of woman she wants so you're telling me right now that first you have to meet your mom before you fall in love with the woman you're with second you ask your mom the kind of woman she wants so you are not the one getting married to the woman you're getting married to the woman for your mom that's what i'm just getting from the first part of this um post you know i thought you meet a lady you meet a guy you fall in love and then you pick it up from there but no this one says he meets you you meet his mom first he meets your mom your mom first and then he will determine if he will fall in love with you or not okay that's one so he said goes on to say she will tell me something like don't marry a short woman they have anger issues she will say don't marry from this village because their women don't stay in one man's house there was a day i went with one of my colleagues she spent 30 minutes with my mom and when i went out when i came back my mom has prepared food for her she was eating and smiling when i stepped in when she left mama said i hope you're not considering marrying her hmm. i asked what was wrong with her she told me some few things and she was right the day i went with the woman the day i went with the woman i married she said this is not a girlfriend no she is a wife and you should know what you are doing my mom and my woman are best friends my mom and my woman her best friends my wife can i guess he's trying to say they're best friends my wife can't report me to my mom her mom will take my her, my wife can't report me to her mom her mom will take my side my mom-in-law and my mom will check on each other every time i don't care about the second part of this of the message my concern is the part where he said that he has to meet the lady first take her to his mom the mom has to give approval it must be a woman that the mom wants him to get married to hmm. this is what they're trying to just make the, the knots in my brain go you know but you know i don't have a problem with you as i was saying family consent and family um approval I want to use the word approval i rather i don't want to use the word approval but i don't think i'm not i cannot think of a better word to use right now but family consent maybe i'll just stick with that is very important okay i'm not saying the approval is you know yes like i said from the other thing i read 
it's important to marry into a family that you know approves or agrees to the marriage but you telling me now that when you meet a lady you have to first take her to your mom your mom has to approve of the relationship and all of that kind of a thing if your mom if you meet bring somebody to your mom and your mom says no you automatically will not marry that person so if you meet somebody and your mom doesn't approve of the person it automatically means that you cannot get married to the person <laughs> so in this case i think that first he is marrying for his mom i guess yes so what if you someone you really really love in a situation where it's someone you really really love and your mom doesn't like her or doesn't approve of her what does that mean what if your mom approves of the one that you don't really like you know is it your mom that will marry the wife or are you marrying for your mom or you know that's just my concern you know sometimes that's why I said it's really good to date somebody and know their kind of person, know the family you're going to mar get married into and all that, okay? Now, in this situation, if I was dating this person, okay, and they tell me, oh, oh I know that their mom has to approve of our relationship, that's fine, okay? But the thing I'll say is that moving on into the marriage, if at any, you have to know that the mom, the guy's mom is a big time stakeholder in your marriage okay she is a stakeholder because he will need to get her approval on so many things before you guys can do anything say to end this whole chit chat thing is that when you're getting married to when you're getting married to someone who who first needs his mom's approval or who the mom gets to say get married to this one don't get married to this one just know that she's a stakeholder in your marriage okay and she'll always be a stakeholder so at any point when you feel like okay in your home when decisions are made that guy, definitely that guy is a mommy's guy. I don't know if I already said this, but if not, that one is a mommy's boy, okay? They can't do without their moms. And when you get married to that kind of a person, you will need to tell his mom everything he's doing. His mom will have to give approval, you know, so that one will always be like that in your home. So first, you know that. And if at any point you want to change that, she will remind you that, don't forget that I was the one who asked my son to get married to you, okay? Don't forget that if I didn't tell him to marry you, he wouldn't marry you and all that stuff. So I feel like that's how this is going to be for you. If you end up wanting to, you know, marry that kind of person. Okay. I know everybody's entitled to what they want to do. Whatever reason he has to think that his mom has to be the one to pick it up for him. You know, whatever reason he thinks, you know, is that he has to take the lady to his mom first. His mom has to first say yes before he even fall in love with the person everybody get do what you want to do but i'm just saying that if you're a lady watching this video and you decide to marry that kind of a person just know that the marriage is between you him and his mom so that's what i wanted to say okay i don't care about the other part of the story where he said his mom and your mom are best friends and all that that was just somebody saying their own thing but at the same time let us be sure we are going into 
marriage with our eyes and ears and minds and everything okay that's what i just wanted to say right there <laughs> I got new brushes okay this um brushes i've not used them i have a lot of new brushes a lot because i bought myself like new brushes and some makeup stuff for christmas but i am so used to the old ones i have that i feel like if i don't trash them if i don't trash them i wouldn't use the new ones so that's what i feel like but these old ones are so good i can't even remember i think my sister actually bought me this brush from nigeria yeah or oh, it was her brush and she left it i love the couple of her brushes way better than mine so natural lip color i don't have lipstick yeah look no lipstick that's my natural lip color yeah so <laughs> makeup yes may rate my makeup okay so at the end of the day i just wanted to say that um first the first sign of a mommy boy is this story i just read okay if you marry a guy who has to seek his mom's approval before he will even fall in love with you that is a red flag yes it's a red flag okay just know that you're getting married to the boy and his mom know that she's always going to be a stakeholder in your marriage she's going to always make decisions for you guys and at any point when you try to kick out of your marriage or maybe just know that she will remind you that it was because she loved you and she asked her son to get married to you that's why he got married to you okay so you're going to have to deal with the mom and him 
in your marriage okay if you did not have a problem with it from the start please do not complain because you saw it before you went into it okay and the second scenario or the first scenario that i had given earlier about getting married to a family who do not accept you or approve of your marriage is also a thing to think about when you're deciding to get married to somebody if their family say no to you please don't go ahead with it it doesn't matter how much you love the person or they claim to love you marriage is not just between a man and a woman marriage is between a man a woman and his family okay i just wanted to come here and do a chit chat get ready with me video i hope you liked it i hope you love my makeup this is just a simple makeup really and i think it's i, I say it's a simple makeup but it's like my every day or every time makeup i like this is just what i would usually do to church or when i go out okay please rate my makeup wait it wait it you guys tell me i look beautiful look at it look at me fine girl fine girl hey fine girl please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share leave a comment and i will see you in my next video see you in my next video bye